Every ritual is sacred, no matter where or why. You make it sacred with your intent. You create the space where magic can happen. Sacred magic, sacred ritual. Treat everything in your life like you do within a sacred ritual. This sacred ritual has been used for thousands of years, since the beginning of time. This has brought in the sacred space and released the true intent from within. Use the sacred ritual for protection and call up the spirits that want to assist you in your life for this special moment. The sacred ritual brings out a rain of light when you anoint yourself and your sacred object. We are standing at the doorstep of a new world. All the preparation you have done won't mean anything if you don't take the one step over the threshold. Just one simple step and a new world will open for you. Are you going to take that step? We are waiting for you. Pass. Think someone with your heart, with your love. This is the most powerful experience you can imagine. Even if they don't return your trust, your openness, you know you are giving everything you can with an open heart and open mind. If we are not able to trust that everything is going to be the way it should be, we are never able to become what we need to be. Pure love, pure trust in ourselves. The unicorn contains the magic of Christmas, the magic of Christ, the initiation into the magic of the Christ consciousness, tracking back to the beginning of time, people celebrating, people rejoicing, people being in the heart of us all, renouncing all that is not ours, all that is not from the light, the magic of the Christmas light, the magic of the Christ light, shining in the hearts of all, magically shining from the inside out into this world, magically shining on all that cannot believe that their dreams will come true. Close where it can, taking away the old and bringing in the new. Don't be afraid of the new. It is the best thing that can happen. Release the old and embrace the new energies coming in. Let it flow. There is no past, no future, only today is what matters. Today you live for yourself and others to be part of this big family we call Earth. To nurture and be nurtured by the wolf means to believe you are the father, and the son, the mother and the daughter, but one with everything. Believe this world can change, believe you can make this happen. Let the wisdom and love of the wolf for his family guide you. Let there be love and peace in your heart, and you will be able to believe. All will be saved. All are divine. I have purposely separated myself from the beliefs held sacred in the earth. All consciousness, all reality is being changed and prepared for the onset to the earth. To all my disciples, it is not true that I have forgotten you, each one of you. It is my responsibility, as I asked God for, to see you through to the end. And this is as near and dear within me as my very own being, and remains buoyant and remembered within me. Yogananda Freedom is the way. Not only is freedom the way, a certain amount of freedom is necessary during the learning process. 
because we seek indeed to lead people to freedom, past the illusion of the earth life being the only reality. We think heaven is another place, but it is mostly being who we are, for we are always connected to heaven. Physical death is not a requirement. We seek to lead men from illusion to reality. The first step is leading men through the veil of the earth life, from spirit to all life, where everything is the same, but fuller of glistening light, love and a sense of unity, more peaceful and calm, so that when the God source light enters into our reality, at the initial contact, there is a reflection of that light. It is the reflection of that light that we wish people naturally to receive more of. Just in their natural sense, knowing and feeling about who they are, and what is the core experiential truth. We are creating within man a dual vantage point outside of his personal, through which he can have a flow of awareness to this higher land. 